What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Sitting here in front of me is today's project. So what I'm going to do right now is grab all the tools necessary to take this thing apart. And uh, but while I'm grabbing those tools, I'm going to have you guys watch a few clips that I took when I was down in LA and San Diego uh, over the weekend. So I went to like a, there was like a BMW meet and then we met up with my friend Will with the RS7. So a few fun clips that I think you guys will enjoy. So, so sit back, relax, check out the clips. I'll see you guys in a second. What do you mean? That was oh, so inappropriate shoot. for like what's going on right now. So basically what's going on right now is uh, we're in San Diego. Actually, where are we? Right now, San Clemente. San, we're basically in San Clemente, I think, in Irvine. Irvine. We're, we're in Irvine. Irvine. I don't know. We drove down to San Diego last night, and now we're in Irvine because apparently there's a BMW meet. So oh, uh, there's so many people. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go with some BMWs, I guess. <clears throat> what is on my lens? Is that poop? Is that actual poop? This no, is poop. no. What it? Okay, watch out, bitch. It's like dirt. I'm lost. I like this color for the M4. Pretty dope. He's got a lot of aero stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, he has rear canards. That's fucking sick. It's a really nice color. It just goes well together. With my shoes, you know? All in all, this little BMW M M Fest day, it was pretty cool. It was just kind of like everyone was relaxing, chilling, taking photos. We're at like spot number two, so there's basically just a bunch of cars floating around here. Four of them are supercharged, and then three of them are just like bagged with nice wheels. Not bad. It kind of, I kind of feel it in my heart for the E92 action. <laughs> I still want an E92. Anyway, me and Jordan are gonna somehow get our way back to San Diego, possibly go shopping a little bit. So we're gonna take you along with. And that was basically my weekend. I got back super late last night, so I literally did just slept in and I was super dead this morning, but I'm awake, ready to go, and, and I'm ready to get into another project. So before I start taking this apart, uh, what I would do or what I would recommend to anyone getting into any project ever is to take before pictures of like what whatever you're working on look like before you take it apart. It's really, really important and I have like probably close to like 150 pictures of the complete disassembly of uh, the Subaru, the engine, um, almost like every step, just so I know where things go when I put it back together. I'm just gonna make your life a lot easier. So basically what I did, I took a picture from every angle, took a short video walk around of what everything looks like right now, like all my fuel lines, my TGV stuff, which I'm going to delete, um, the turbo inlet and all the vacuum hoses right here. Basically all this little like fuel dampener, I think is what that's what that is. A few harnesses, how basically how everything is routed. That's what I just got done doing right now and I'm basically gonna just start taking this thing apart. I think what I'm gonna start first with is, uh, is take off the throttle body right here. Just it looks like there's a few bolts, a couple wires I gotta disconnect, so I'm gonna get straight into it. So I don't know if I said it yet, but basically why I'm taking uh, every, this whole thing apart is because I'm getting uh, ready to go get it powder coated. And also the turbo that I got um, has a three inch inlet. So I have to take apart this guy. It looks like there's only a few bolts that hold this thing on. Uh, this is the turbo inlet. So I have to take this thing out. And then also uh, for the TGVs, um, there's other sensors here, here, and here. And for the turbo that I got, uh, you have to do a TGV delete uh, because I believe this thing is in the way. Uh, just because the housing is so big, I'm pretty sure that's why, but either way, um, it's gonna do a TGB delete just overall, that's less a little bit more flow, apparently, so I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, and then as far as the color, I don't know if I said it yet, but I'm gonna keep that uh, on the low until it's done. And I also, I did paint my block, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to assemble the whole thing, just so it'll be like a big reveal of like what actual color I did. Um, I think everything is just going to work really well together, but anyway, let me get straight into taking this thing apart. First things first, there's a little hex bolt that looks like it's holding this guy on. It was really hard to get off, and I'm not really sure why, but go ahead and unscrew that. Take off a few of these like vacuum hoses around here, and then it looks like it's fairly loose. 
Um, take off this little like blow off valve bypass thing right here. I take off this little sensor. Yeah, fairly easy to take this thing out. So a huge reason why people do a TGV delete. Um, one, for making room for a big turbo, I believe. And two, obviously, because the, what the TGV is, is there's like a little butterfly flap, which you could see right in here. Kinda, can you see it? Let's see if you can see it. All right, you know what? How about this? There you go. Now you can see that little flap in there. And what it does is basically it just it's just one more thing that restricts the air um, to go into like the intake ports on the heads, and it's just one thing in the way that you just want to get rid of. So that's basically what I'm doing. Um, people make like IEG makes like a CNC one that I might end up picking up, or a lot of people just do it um, them by themselves. They'll end up just like cutting those things out and welding some stuff up. But I think I'm just gonna buy a set of TGVs that are already deleted from IEG and uh, just see like the benefits that it actually comes. So there's a lot of people that see uh, some good benefits from doing that, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. And now I'm coming to realize that taking out this inlet is a little bit harder than I thought. It's not just this one bolt. Uh, what's gonna make it easier is getting these fuel rails that go along the bottom, taking those out first. So you can see these little fuel lines that go right here. And there is like four bolts holding it on. There's one there, there's one there. One here, one here. I'm just gonna take this entire thing out of the way just so I can get to this inlet. Okay, so taking apart this intake manifold <clears throat> is a little bit more difficult than I thought, but I really just kinda slowed down trying to analyze the situation and uh, what do I actually need to take off and what do I not need to take off to disassemble this stupid thing. So, basically, um, there are a lot more bolts than I thought there were. Uh, but what I'm doing is I'm just taking a picture, take the bolt out, and then remove said piece or injector or rail, and then uh, putting that bolt back in um, just so I keep track of everything. But there's like six bolts on the bottom where the fuel lines go, and then there is uh, a few bolts just holding on pieces like holding on pieces like this. That's kind of holding the harness together. And there's just a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. There's a couple like ground wires here. I think there's actually one on each side because I remember undoing one over here. So, a bunch of stuff going on, but I am making progress as you guys can see. Um, there is these little guys um, that are for the injectors. Um, and it's kind of, it's easier than you would think because I mean like this is blue, which goes to that blue. There's the fuel rail right here that goes there so it's kind of easy you just got to kind of slow down analyze what's going on and start disassembling so i'm going to keep it going so i just got a lot of work done on the intake manifold and this is basically how it looks right now so it's starting to look i have another one up here my friend just gave it to me uh just so i can like kind of practice on taking stuff apart so that's what that one looks like and this is what this one looks like now so here is the harness right here and really it's just it's just a matter of taking off see where all these bolts go just a bunch of brackets holding it on I got the inlet off here and here are the fuel lines that run under as well there's just a few bolts like this one goes there all sorts of stuff like that but I finally got one TGV off and as you can see there's no random bolts laying around Oh my god, I totally just lied. This one, uh, but I know where these ones go. They go just right there. Um, but really, I'm just putting all those bolts back right where I got them. The huge thing that will help you guys out if you guys are taking apart stuff. Now, here are those little butterfly valve things that I was talking about. Get a little better view of what they look like under there. So that's just what causes the restriction. You can see how restrictive that would be. Obviously, they open this little bar that goes across is what's kind of restrictive and that's why people do the deletes. And this guy here is the motor and that's what opens and closes it. So uh, obviously if you disconnected or did a TGV delete, you'd have to get a tune because uh, that harness there obviously has a plug for this motor here and the car's computer system will be very confused obviously when this is not there. So that's why you'll probably get a light that comes on um, if you unplug this. Now I thought I could just take off this, all these fuel lines, but of course Subaru is making it so you cannot very easily, so I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to 
pull this guy through here because you obviously can't pull it that way. You got to push it that way. So what I have to do is get a little screwdriver, take off this little line, line here so I can go through and then take off these two lines here so I can fish it through that way. A lot of finagling later. I finally got it, but I have this mask on because I didn't realize there was going to be gas left in these lines. I should have realized that, but I didn't think there was going to be that much fuel in these lines. So be careful, stay somewhere that's going to be ventilated, and have one of these masks because, uh, yeah, it's going to smell like gas. It's going to be bad. You don't want to pass out. So that's what's going down. I just had to clean up a bunch of gas. Um, I, I, it is probably, I think I, this is how they would probably do it at Subaru, just kind of finagle it through here. Because the only way that I can see possible, I'm going to go ahead and take those fuel lines out. And uh, the intake manifold will officially be fully apart. That alarm only means one thing. I set an alarm because I have to go to work, unfortunately. So this is basically... As far as I've gotten, there's only like five bolts holding on this uh, TGV right here. And then uh, I basically just have to pull this fuel rail out and I'm basically almost done with that. So, so this is basically where I have to stop today. Made a lot, a lot of progress. Um, I got my injectors right here and it seriously smells like gas in here. It's super bad. I'm trying to air out the garage right now, but I think I'm going to check in with you guys tomorrow. I'm going to head to work right now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So welcome back. Today is the next day and I'm still working on this intake manifold here that is a lot bigger project than I initially thought but you definitely I think uh, if you just have some basic tools literally like a 10, a 12, a couple extensions and like one random like 7 mil socket um, you should be good to go to take this whole thing apart. Oh one thing to take off vacuum hoses that are stuck need a nose pliers grab around the hose, kind of twist it back and forth, kind of break that little, uh, I don't even, like there's like little, not like corrosion built up, but it just gets stuck. So you got to kind of twist it back and forth to pull those off. But basically where I'm at now is I finally got those fuel lines out. As you can see, more fuel lines that were running through the bottom and then out here. It was just, it was awful. These guys are right there now. And what I had to end up doing is separating the fuel lines. They were connected by uh, just little fuel hoses, which are these guys here. So this was one piece originally, but I had to end up cutting that right there. Um, I was going to get new hoses anyway, so basically it worked out. Um, I had to cut those uh, to kind of fish it through um, the intake manifold here just to make my life easier. And I finally ended up getting it out. So now what I'm doing is there's only four bolts holding on, holding on this little throttle body here. So I'm going to end up taking this guy out and then take out this. I'll show you guys how to take out this last TGV. And then we're basically good to go. I think. We'll see. Finally got the little throttle body guy off. There was just those four bolts, but you got to kind of tap it on the side uh, to kind of get it shaken off because it just kind of just press on there pretty hard. And now to take off this last TGV, um, there's only one, two, three, four, five, and six 10 mil bolts holding this guy on. They're not even on there uh, that hard, so I could almost probably just do this with my hand. Um, so go ahead and loosen those, pull that guy off, and then I'm going to end up cleaning this guy and then taping uh, obviously the holes off and stuff and then getting it sent out to powder coat. Finally all finished, all cleaned up the best that I can. I'm going to take this to school tomorrow and really do a thorough cleaning with it, make sure it's all good to go. Uh, for the powder coat guy, I'm going to mask off obviously some of these like the vacuum hose attachments and whatnot and cover this up so just making sure it's 100% for him. Um, I'm not 100% on the color, at least the shade of color that I want to do for the intake manifold. So I'm kind of excited to see how it's going to turn out. And I think that is all I had for today's video. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace out.